Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, the psalmist said. Indeed, the Bible is a source of light and guidance as we live out our Christian life. Welcome to our Bible Reflection Series. What I will be sharing with you in each episode are my personal reflections of particular Bible passages, enriched by my other readings and continuous spiritual journey. From the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 19, we find this amazing story of Jesus encountering Zacchaeus, a public sinner, and as it happens, a man of small stature. The setting was in Jericho, and Jesus, who has just cured a blind man, was quickly gaining popularity. We were told by the evangelist that Zacchaeus was eager to see who Jesus was and seem to be aware of his route as he enters the city of Jericho. But since he was a short man and the crowd was too many, Zacchaeus knew he had to be clever. And so he climbed up a sycamore tree and there he had just had the perfect view. When Jesus passed by, the unexpected happened. Jesus looked up invited Zacchaeus to come down and decided to stay in his house that day. Jesus is at it again. He meets people directly where their issues are. Zacchaeus is a chief tax collector, meaning that in this corrupt profession, he is a VIP. And yet, despite of this seemingly glorious position, He seems to not have everything. He is rich, but he is hated by everyone for being a money man. He is in a high position, but undoubtedly has more false friends than true ones. A lot of people in that city must have given up on him a long time ago. He is a public sinner and unclean before the Lord. Zacchaeus knows this and must have prayed countless times before God, unable to lift up his eyes to him. But still, he had no strength to finally turn away from his sinful ways. Until Jesus came and approached him, Jesus reached out to him when people would avoid him out of fear of becoming impure. Jesus looked at him as one would look at a person. Jesus stayed with him, ate with him, as one would with a friend. Jesus treated him like a person. Sin enslaves us. It reduces us to insignificant level. And when we are that small, that weak, it is easy to lose hope in ourselves. But wherever sin pours, grace outpours. God gives hope even to sinners. This same hope enables us to own up to our mistakes and face our humiliation. The same way Zacchaeus embraced his littleness when he climbed that tree. And this hope of Zacchaeus was not deceived. His humility, which God took notice that day, made him a vessel ready to receive mercy. Today salvation has come to this house, Jesus said. Though he was small, Zacchaeus 
had a great desire for God. He was so drawn to see who Jesus was, which is why you would find the verb to see in this passage several times. Zacchaeus was a seeker, and those who truly seek the face of God will not be frustrated. Zacchaeus indeed saw the face of God that day, the core of who God is, no other than mercy itself. Jesus Christ is the face of the Father's mercy, Pope Francis said. Zacchaeus met Jesus. Do our sins make us feel small? It doesn't matter. What matters is, if we humbly seek God, we will surely find Him. He will not hide His face from us. He is only love and mercy. The Bible contains the Word of God, and it's not a coincidence that Jesus is called the Word of God because all the Bible, the Old Testament and the New, reveals Christ Jesus to us. Not everything is written in the Bible, but what is written in it contains everything. So begin reading your Bible now and know more about Jesus, the Son of God. Thank you for listening and please subscribe to my channel. Let us fill the internet with everything that is God. Peace be with you.